Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Google's official plugin Sidekick. For those who don't know about Sidekick, let me tell you something about this. If you want to install Search Console, Google Analytics, PageSpeed, and Sci AdSense or any other Google services, then Sidekick is the easiest way and it's official uh, plugin uh, created by Google and it's also very easy and fast okay I will install it on one of my sites and I'll show you how to install it and set up uh, for most of these plugins for for example if you want to install Google Analytics on your website uh, you will have to go to your analytics account and create a different uh, account for your website and then you will fetch that uh, key or that uh, tracking number and then come back to your website and you will also need another uh, plugin for uh, putting that uh, tracking code on your website but Google site kit uh, will do all these things in one platform uh, even you can uh, install uh, other products uh, provided by Google within uh, this same plugin First of all, come to your plugin section, add new, search for G site, press enter. If you don't find a uh, Google site kit for this uh, keyword, you can type Google site kit, again, again press enter. Okay, this one uh, you will need for all those setups. Click on install now. Click on activate. It will redirect you automatically to the uh, automatic setup uh, page. And it's now checking the compatibility of my website uh, with Google Site Kit. Uh, it will take some time. Okay, here is the message from uh, Google Site Kit after uh, checking my website. Uh, it is saying that your site may not be ready for the Site Kit. Uh, because I am already using some caching plugins and uh, GDPR and other uh, plugins which may be uh, conflict to this Site Kit. Uh, but I'll still use this uh, because I know that any of my plugin will not conflict. Uh, and I'll click on Start Setup. Okay, it will automatically redirect me to the uh, Google official site and they want me to uh, provide the ownership of uh, my domain. Click on sign in with Google. I'll use one of my accounts which already have uh, Google Analytics and Search Console uh, installed in it. It will take some permissions. I'll allow them. Verify ownership. Verify your ownership. Add verification token to your site. Okay, Google already added a verification code by uh, itself and now uh, it asks me to allow access to Google account data. I'll click on allow. Okay, uh, now it's asking me uh, to add the site. Click on add site to the search console. Okay, uh, the site kit for uh, Google console is finished. Now click on go to my dashboard and it will again take you to your WordPress dashboard. Now on the site kit dashboard, you will see uh, the search console data and other small information. Uh, but first of all, uh, let's start adding uh, the Google products. So click on settings. Uh, 
here you can see uh, only search console click on connect more services okay uh, for search console uh, what we did uh, adding the site and other things on Google official site was for uh, only search console and it's already connected now now you can uh, see your site and see full details in search console also it will show you the reports on uh, this dashboard page come to settings again okay connect more services now I'll add uh, Google Analytics click on setup analytics it will now again ask me uh, to log in I'll use the same account in which I already have uh, set up the Google Analytics account for this okay it will ask me for some permissions I'll allow them for this account it again redirected me to the dashboard okay uh, as I already have an account I'll click on refetch my account okay maybe uh, the name for this account is different so I'll click on create an account and it will again uh, take me to analytics uh, official website where we can uh, create a separate account for this uh, website now here uh, you can create the name uh, according to your website uh, for example I'll use my website domain name and click on next I'll use it for web uh, give the website link which is HTTP I'll computer and electronics because I am providing cell phone information create accept the terms and conditions both of them okay now uh, it will give you a property code tracking code copy that tracking code or uh, you just leave uh, everything here and come to your dashboard again and click on refetch my account maybe uh, this time it will fetch it because uh, the name of the property and the website is the same yes this time uh, it's already taken from the analytics click on mega planet which I chose you're probably offline okay this one and it will select the property and the uh, tracking code automatically and click on configure analytics oh, uh, maybe you will have to uh, add a new uh, account okay now uh, search console and analytics are already added uh, it will show you uh, on the dashboard it will show you the analytics data and the search console as well uh, but for uh, at this time I don't do not have any uh, track record uh, after a couple of days or maybe after 24 hours uh, when analytics uh, have some data some traffic uh, information for me then it will show you all the data here and the dashboard will look like this for analytics and for search console uh, okay similarly you can add page speed insights and AdSense account uh, with your website uh, by with with a few clicks um, by site kit so uh, that's all for today's video uh, if you uh, never already subscribe to our channel uh, then please consider subscribing our channel by clicking subscribe button below this video and press the bell notification so uh, you can receive our 
न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन थैंक यू